join me for this week's chat. Today, as you can see, I'm filming from a slightly different spot, in the, somewhere in the playground. We've also received great news uh, this week that uh, some positive and hopeful signs that the worst of the coronavirus pandemic is starting to abate for Australia at least with the resumption of the elective surgery this week. Uh, of course the curve not only has flattened now but there's hardly any new cases each day and this is all a great sign of hope for each of us although the restrictions for the most part remain. Nevertheless what en engages us so much in hope is that we're able to look forward to the future with confidence and during this time of autumn where the weather is so tempting to go out and to do things uh, engaging in nature and the outdoors as we customarily would want to do we still need to stay inside. Today also I want to reflect a little bit about the message and the meaning of Anzac Day this year. We won't have an Anzac Day, well it seems, at least marches and so much of what we customarily attach to Anzac Day. And yet the opportunity for us to stand still, to think about the sacrifices that the fallen have made for us, to think about why we get involved in conflicts in the first place. It's not about the victors and the losers, but about the reason why a nation would go into a war in the first place. We realize that some things are actually worth fighting for, that the spiritual ideals of human dignity, religious freedom, freedom in general, loyalty, honor, are so much spiritual realities that they are worth paying sacrifices and great sacrifices for, even at the cost of one's life. This year, though, we are remembering this commemoration of Anzac Day, you might say, from the stillness of our homes. And in the stillness is where we have a chance to encounter some of the deepest realities of our lives. So as we pray for the fallen, as we remember those who are in the Defence Force, we also remember who we are as a country. And in Australia, I would say that Anzac Day is one of the very few, probably the only one of the secular holidays that actually has some real spiritual tones about it. And this is a message I've focused on in the bulletin but I want to also mention it here with you in this little film that I'm engaging with each week. So I invite you to keep praying for our country, not only for the cessation of the restrictions and the control of the pandemic amongst us, but indeed that there may be through this time a real revival in spiritual values, as I know there have already been, but that this revival will continue, that Australians, will begin more and more to wake up to the spiritual reality that is there as part of our human dignity, but which needs to be exercised through worship, through prayer, and through contemplation.